What makes for excellence in heart care? It starts with one of the most amazing teams of heart surgeons and cardiologists that I've seen assembled under one roof and the region's leading technology in a new $40 million facility. This is the nationally recognized Heart and Vascular Institute of Eastern Kentucky at Pikeville Medical Center. On Monday, April 10th, the Pikeville City Commission discussed the removal of a $100 permit fee for food truck vendors in the city. Removing this barrier could lead to mobile food businesses becoming more regular. City Manager Philip Ellswick says this will hopefully attract more food trucks to Pikeville for people to enjoy. The, the ordinance at, for mobile food vendors as it stands currently, you have to have a, a permit from the city. Uh, it's a $100 permit to have a mobile food truck or mobile food vendor. And then, of course, you have to have a business license as well. So that's $50 and then uh, pay the net profit tax on that. So we have, uh, for other events outside of festivals and things, we have struggled to attract um, food trucks to come to Pikeville. So the commission is entertaining wa waiving that $100 fee so that uh, they only have to have a business license from us. And I think there's still a permit they have to have from the health department. But we're hoping that eliminating that $100 permit fee will um, attract more food trucks to Pikeville. The goal is to attract more food trucks into the city. This will create more jobs while providing a unique dining experience for pedestrians. What we hope for is a mobile food truck or a mobile food vendor that comes to Pikeville and, and creates a following uh, amongst the people here that it eventually moves into a brick and mortar location and becomes a, a restaurant that's that's located here. Uh, that's that's the goal of this process. Uh, now we haven't had that yet, but we're hopeful that with some changes and we have tweaked our mobile food vendor ordinance a couple of times now uh, to make it much easier for those vendors to to operate in Pikeville. Um, and this hundred dollar fee hopefully is the last thing that has been an obstacle to that and we'll begin to see more and hopefully some of those turn into brick and mortar restaurants. Reporting from Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.